More pushback today against the possibility that Rush Limbaugh could be part of an investment group which would bid to buy the St. Louis Rams football team. National Action Network President Al Sharpton is asking NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell to block Limbaugh from buying the team. Over the weekend, the head of the NFL Players Association encouraged players to publicly voice their concerns. New York Giants defensive end Matthias Kiwanuku, among others, including Jets' Bart Scott, vowed he would play for the Rams were Limbaugh to have an ownership stake in the team. Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Donovan McNabb said, quote, if he's rewarded to buy them, congratulations to him, but I won't be in St. Louis anytime soon. Rush Limbaugh has a different point of view, which he expressed on his radio show today. One of the things that is going around out there is that black NFL players will boycott playing the game if I am an owner in the league. Which, of course, is patently absurd, but this is, is being reported, and it's, it's, uh, it's designed to affect the outcome of all of this. The controversy derives from Rush Limbaugh's various comments about race. In 2003, he resigned after a short stint as an analyst at ESPN after saying McNabb, who was an African-American quarterback, got a lot of credit he did not deserve. I think what we've had here is a little social concern in the NFL. I think the media has been very desirous that a black quarterback do well. Limbaugh also said in 2007, quote, the NFL all too often looks like a game between the Bloods and the Crips without any weapons. Meanwhile, an NFL spokesman says the Rams, arguably the worst team in the sport this season, have not agreed to sell to anyone, and reports indicate there are between three and six groups interested in bidding on the team. Here now, sports writer Dave Zirin, sports correspondent with The Nation magazine. And uh, Dave, first of all, I want to clarify, I think I misstated this, uh, Matthias uh, Kuan Kuanuka and uh, nice. Jets Bart Scott, they both said they would not be willing to play for Limbaugh. In any case, should the NFL allow Rush Limbaugh to be part of an investment group which could buy the St. Louis Rams football team? Look, David, you wouldn't want Dick Cheney to head up Amnesty International. You don't want Rush Limbaugh owning an NFL team. And it's not because he's conservative. I mean, most NFL owners are to the right of Genghis Khan, and many of them have fleeced our cities for billions of dollars over the decades. This is because in a league that is 70% African American, the NFL cannot have an owner with a history of statements that, to put it mildly, are racially insensitive, or to put it bluntly, are stone-cold racist. I mean, you mentioned that he said that NFL players look like the Bloods and the Crips, but I would say that the NFL, which has a historic relationship with the NAACP, cannot have as one of their owners somebody who once said that the NAACP needs to do riot practice by busting and breaking into liquor stores and practice their looting. The NFL can't have an owner who says, in Obama's America, that's where the black kids beat up the white kids and everybody cheers. It's too divisive, it's too insulting, and that's why players and the union are standing up. David, how rare is it to see active players um, make statements about ownership? Wow, about as rare as a hair on Dick Cheney's head. This d never happens, and there's a reason for it. It's because there are not guaranteed contracts in the NFL. So speaking out on any social issue, let alone the issue of ownership, is something that rarely happens. Remember, a player plays on average for only three and a half years. You only have a short window to grab that golden ring. So the fact that Bart Scott, who's a pro bowler, Matthias Kiwanuka, who is also a big-time NFL player, Donovan McNabb, six-time pro bowler, the fact that these guys are speaking out, and players, white players, I want to say that because Limbaugh sees everything in this black-white lens, but white players have said to me that they would have problems playing uh, for Rush Limbaugh. So this is not just about black and white. This is not about left and right. This is about right and wrong. Rush Sharp, uh, Al Sharpton sent a, uh, a letter about Rush Limbaugh to the NFL commissioner today. Sharpton said he would take it to the next level if he doesn't get a response by tomorrow. Um, does this get worse for the NFL by the hour that they don't essentially shoot this down about Rush Limbaugh? Absolutely. And, you know, let, let's face it for a second. NFL owners are hardly, uh, you know, the, the, the Mormon tabernacle here. I mean, this is, this is a group of brigands and thieves. I mean, Al Davis is an NFL owner, for goodness sakes. The man is practically the crypt keeper. Oh, children in Oakland wake up in the middle of the night and say, Al Davis is coming to get me. But at the same time, <laughs> but at the same time, Rush Limbaugh is the next step because his money has been made by the practice of the politics of division, because his 
his repertoire is so extensive, because of the people he's offended week in, week out, it has to happen. I'll tell you the one thing, this gives you an idea of how hypocritical, though, NFL owners are. One of them said off the record today, but said it to the press, that Rush Limbaugh's past use of OxyContin, his pharmaceutical addiction, might be grounds to not have him as an owner. I mean, this was the one time I almost felt sorry for the guy. I mean, think about the number of NFL players who have to take painkillers on a week-in, week-out basis. But I'll tell you, one of the jokes on the internet today, I just have to repeat it, they said, wow, if OxyContin keeps Limbaugh from owning an NFL team, it really will be the miracle drug. <laughs> Dave, the Rams haven't won a game since October 2008. Maybe it's a good way for Rush Limbaugh to throw his money away. I mean, and I was also going to say, can he really be much worse than Dan Snyder, the person we suffer with here in uh, Washington <laughs> land? Yeah, I mean, I mean, how bad could he really be? But check it out. Every time a player is drafted by the Rams, it'll be, what do you feel about playing for Limbaugh? Every time there's a trade, what do you feel about playing for Limbaugh? I got about 100 emails like in the last day and a half of people saying, so what's the boycott plan if Limbaugh gets the team? I mean, it's such a distraction to the NFL brand, which is the most successful and important brand in all of American sports. I can't imagine they won't shoot this down post-haste. Dave Zyron, sports correspondent with The Nation magazine. David, thanks as always for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure, David.